Hello everyone, I'm Shweta Ganga, working in ENHI Secure as Senior IIM Engineer. Today we are discussing about Workday Integration with Sailpoint Identity IQ. In this presentation, I'll cover the following concepts. What is Workday in general? The key features of Workday? What is Sailpoint Identity IQ? Uh, how can we integrate a Workday with Sailpoint Identity IQ? The default Workday connector features and the details. Workday. Workday is a cloud-based software vendor that specializes in human capital management and financial management applications. Workday is a human resource management system that helps companies with everything from hiring and onboarding to monitoring performance and keeping track of time and attendance to process payroll. Key features of Workday. Workday offers several interesting features for managing employee information, benefits, training, and performance. These features include talent management. Workday Talent Management Suite provides tools to foster employee development, reward workers, and engage in career planning and goal management. Time tracking. Workday simplifies time tracking by making it possible to use either a desktop, tablet, or mobile device to clock in and out. Recruiting. Workday provides an effective method to find, vet, and hire qualified candidates. Analytics and reporting. A variety of tools are available in the reporting and analytics component for tracking employee performance statistics and assisting with well-informed company decisions. Employee self-service. Workday facilitates employee self-service in very different ways. Workday Prime. Workday chooses to work directly with businesses to provide a code that is customized for the needs of each company. Introduction to SailPoint Identity IQ. SailPoint Identity IQ helps in seamless automation of joiner, mover, and lever use cases, as well as the ability to manage role-based access controls from a central point. SailPoint Identity Platform has been widely utilized by the organizations to automate and streamline various identity and access management processes. SailPoint's Workday integration ensures that employee access to applications and data is appropriate and compliant from day one. Integrating Workday with SailPoint Identity IQ Integrating Workday with SailPoint Identity IQ Let's organizations use Workday as a single source of truth for core identity security tasks, starting with provisioning access on the first day of work. Any changes made within Workday, such as for job title changes or terminations, it will automatically sync with SailPoint and the employee's access is automatically adjusted throughout the organization's ecosystem. Write back of certain attributes like email and phone to Workday application from SailPoint Identity IQ is possible. The Workday SOAP API is a public API supported by Workday Connector. Workday Connector supported features. Aggregation. Any changes done to any attribute are aggregated during aggregation. Delta aggregation. Any changes done to custom or calculated attributes are not aggregated during delta aggregation. Future data. It is supported for hire, terminate, and onboarding events. Custom attributes. Ability to update custom attributes through REST APIs. Updating attributes. We can update multiple attributes on Workday. That is, the writeback is possible for Workday. As we are discussing about the update attributes in the previous slide, all these attributes that are shown here, like email address home, email address work, additional email address home, additional email address work, work mobile, work telephone, home mobile, home telephone. So all these are the attributes that can be updated in Workday. That is, the write back of these attributes is possible in Workday. For write back to happen, there will be put permissions that needs to be granted for those particular attributes. Example, you wanted to add an email address work from SailPoint Identity IQ to Workday. Then there will be certain put permissions that needs to be granted to email address work attribute. So here are few get and put permissions that needs to be provided in Workday application. Get permissions for read, other permissions that are needed to be provided in Workday application 
to read the attribute values. Put permissions for write. These are the permissions that needs to be provided in Workday application to implement the write back on the attributes. Prerequisites. To integrate Workday with SailPoint Identity IQ, there are some tasks or activities that needs to be implemented in Workday, like a Workday administrator account and password are required to connect to the given URL of the Workday tenant. User must create a Workday integration system to fetch the calculated or the custom fields. Custom attributes configuration is required for updating the custom attributes. Required permissions. Creation of integration user. For this, we need to create two integration users. Example, SailPoint read user and SailPoint write user. So SailPoint write user is used for provisioning. Or we need to have at least one integration user that is having permissions related to both read and write user. Creation of integration security, security group. Similar to integration user, we need to create two integration security groups. One is to read group and the other is for write group. We need to add integration system users created in creation of integration user above to the respective groups. Get and put permissions for security group. Add the domain security policies permitting get or put access list for the read and write groups. Connector details. So here we are using Workday connector in SailPoint Identity IQ for the integration. So these are the Workday configurations. Authentication type. Authentication type is supported by the management system. Workday URL. The valid URL to connect to the human resource module, the workday. Username. The name of the administrative user. It should generally follow the format username at the rate tenant name. Password. The password of the administrator user. Chunk size. The number of accounts to be fetched per page. And the limit might be from 1 to 999. Effective time zone. Enter the time zone of your primary HR business operations, for example, ACT, EST, CST. We will set this parameter to customize the aggregation and fetch the data based on the time zone configured. Connection timeout. Provide the timeout value in minutes. The default value is one minute. Workday provisioning credentials configuration. Provisioning administrator. User connected to integration security group who would have permissions to update Workday account? That is, sale point right user that we have discussed earlier. Provision administrator pass, password. Password of the provisional administrator. Filter criteria. Effective date offset. Enter the number of days in advance to aggregate the future hires and terminates. For example, enter 14 to aggregate the workday worker 14 days in advance of his joining date. Contractor ended employee is hired in future with an effective offset date. Terminated employee is hired as contingent worker in future with an effective offset date. Contractor employee is hired as full time employee in future with an effective offset date. Organization reference ID. Provide common separated values of organization reference IDs to aggregate the worker from required organizations. Integration system ID. Provide system ID of integration system to fetch custom or calculated attributes. Integration field override service. Provide integration field override service name. Integration fields. Provide comma separated fields of integration service to aggregate workers based on mentioned filter conditions. Termination offset. Offset value in days, which indicates the number of past days to aggregate the terminated workers, and the default it is 60 days. Don't allow terminated accounts. Terminated or disabled accounts will not be aggregated if this is checked. Aggregate resigned future hires. Retain the information for cancelled future hires to support lever workflows. Aggregate resigned past hires. It is to retain the information for the resigned past hires to support the lever workflows. Enable REST API. Enables 
REST API configuration, that is REST API credentials would be used to update the custom attributes. So here is a format for workday URL. Here we can see there is tenant one in URL, where this tenant one is a workday tenant name. The thing to be noted here is the workday connector only supports human resource module of workday. Authentication type is a basic authentication that we are going to use in the demo. Adding XPath in application. Once we get the XPath for custom attributes from Workday team, we need to add them in the backend. For that, we need to edit Workday application XML file. Search for the entry key with XPath attributes map, and in the map, we need to add an entry key for the custom attributes and provide the XPath as the value for the key that was given by the Workday team. Add custom attributes in schema for Workday. To add any custom attribute in Workday, they need to be mentioned in schema with the suffix of underscore underscore C. And the respective XPath has to be added in the backend. Workday application team needs to provide the XPath for the same. So here is a custom attribute that needs to be added in the Workday schema and the respective XPath will be given by the Workday team now, to understand this concept in more detail, let's look into the demo of Worldy Integration with Cellpoint Identity IQ. Please subscribe to Vinich across various social media platforms for further updates. Thank you.